Hey, what's up everyone, MacBoy here for MacBoy Productions, and today I have another great tutorial for you. You know, I get this question quite often, and I, can, I know some of you already know how to do this, but a lot of you don't. And uh, I wanted to show you um, how you can create your own custom ringtones uh, for your iPhone uh, in iTunes and GarageBand. So, I got a question uh, not too long ago of how to create a ringtone from a song from iTunes or a uh, a loop from GarageBand and then put it on my iPhone and then set it as a ringtone so whenever I get a call I have that ringtone and uh, people were giving me different like they've watched different videos and it says go into iTunes, go down get info do some next things instead of you doing the normal way which is by using GarageBand so I thought I'd just make a tutorial really quickly and show you so let's go ahead and fire up, fire up GarageBand uh, to make a new project, you can make whatever you want, piano, uh, voice loops, whatever kind of ringtone you want. Uh, just choose that. I'm going to name it my song, save it on my desktop. And once it's loaded, just drag it in the middle here. And this is uh, where you can edit your... Let's see, I'm just going to delete that track. There you go. And now you can just go into your loops or your music, add it, add whatever you want and edit your song. So I'm just going to go and get a little loop from here for you. Alright, so that's a good beat and say you want that as your ringtone. Now, uh, when you're editing this, just make sure that it is below 40 seconds uh, in GarageBand. So go over down here and then mark that off as time and then at the top and uh, you will see your timeline where you can edit so it's under 40 seconds and that's perfectly fine so once you're done editing your project all you have to do is you will go up to share and then click on send ringtone to iTunes and that's uh, really just what you have to do okay so it might say that it has to be 40 seconds or less and uh, this is 40 seconds less as you can see at the timeline but it get, might just give you this little uh, dialog so just click adjust and then if you see this yellow marker click hold and drag that oops I'm sorry to play click hold and drag that all the way to the end of your project or 40 seconds so say right there and send the ringtone and it's going to start doing it then in iTunes you can just rename rename it your artist your name and your album and once you're done with that sync your iPhone with your iTunes and it should be into your it should be in your settings or and sounds sections again uh, since I just found this out you know you can drag this drag this yellow marker to wherever you want actually uh, that means you can actually have a ringtones to whatever length you want at it as alright guys thank you very much for watching I mean, that was a pretty simple tutorial. Go to, to share, send a ring to iTunes, and there you have it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Once again, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe on this video and channel. And guys, over there to the right of this video, you will find my Twitter, my blog, and my business email where you can contact me for any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Once again, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see every single one of you next time on MacBook Productions.